Hello, hello, my beautiful people. I have a book haul today. I have a beautiful used little bookstore called Blue Plate Books, and they will give me credit or actually cash for my books that they need. They only keep one copy of each book. So if they already have a copy of whatever book it is, they will not obviously take mine. But so it's just kind of potluck. But um, I also like taking my books to the park that has a large homeless population and just have conversations and discussions and um, you know give out my books it's just a really really cool thing that I never thought about till I did it on accident one time and now I do it intentionally so it's nice to save some money and to get some cash and credit and get new books but it's uh, that's a, another opportunity if you have some books particularly if they're lighthearted you don't want to like give real heavy books but you know anyway let me show you what I got I got books that were all on my list either the author or the book so I picked up Ernest Hemingway's to have or to have not this is one of the ones that had recommendations and very high marks on Goodreads and I just really kind of enjoyed learning about Ernest Hemingway and wanted to read a little bit more of his works I don't think I want to read everything he wrote because he wrote extensive amounts but I really want to read this one it is now on my list I also picked up this really adorable vintage copy of Madame Bovary. Really was interested in reading this. It was one of those books that was kind of scandalous, you know, when it came out. And um, just, let me see if it has a quick synopsis. It's a married woman um, who's bored. And so she says, tried to force herself to remember that she was no longer free. And then she has an affair. So, very scandalous, y'all. Very, very scandalous. I got Virginia Woolf's The Waves. I don't know that I've read Virginia Woolf yet. She's one of the oops, classic authors. Here's the bookmark. Do take books. Um, she's one of the authors that I haven't gotten a chance to read classic authors, so I look forward to reading that, reviewing it. Then I, one of my very all-time favorite books is The Library Book by Susan, Susan Orlean. So this is another book that she wrote on the life of Renton Tin, nonfiction. And I thought, that sounds really good. So I look forward to reading that. And then, if you know, it will make my top 10 books of this year was Shadow of the Winds by uh, Carlos Ruiz Zafron. So I picked up two more. I had um, three of his books that I had put on my wish list and they had two. So score. With my books that I traded in and got credit for, each of these books ended up costing me about $5. So that's a deal. I also got Alan Eskin's The Life We Bury. Fairly more recent modern book. Um, I know it's a suspense book, but... Um, A college student is on a deadline to complete a writing assignment for English, interview a stranger, and write a brief biography. So he heads to a nursing home to find a willing subject, and he meets Carl Iverson, a dying Vietnam veteran and a convicted murderer. So that does sound interesting. And then I, I was looking for a different book by Fiona Davis, but this I, there were several there, but not the one I was looking for, and I can't even remember now which, oh, uh, no, I don't remember which one I was looking for. Anyway, I picked up this one, the address. Um, it says, A Chance Encounter with Theodore Camden, one of the architects of the Grand New York Apartment House in, the, in Dakota, leads a job offer um, to Sarah Stife. Her world is suddenly awash in possibilities and no mean feat for the servant in 1884. She has an opportunity to man manage the Dakota and to see more of Theo, who understands Sarah like no one else, even though he's living with his wife and his children. A hundred years later, a former interior designer is fresh out of rehab and desperate for new opportunities. Bailey's grandfather was the ward of famed architect Theodore Camden. Yet Bailey won't see a dime of the family's substantial estate. Her cousin, Melinda, the biological great-granddaughter, will inherit everything. 
So when Melinda suggests Bailey oversees the renovation of her Dakota apartment, Bailey jumps at the chance, even though the renovation will take away all the character of the home. And he lived and died in. After being stabbed by a former employee who had previously lived in an insane asylum. All right, this is a drama family. Up. A century apart, Sarah and Bailey both take refuge in the Upper West Side's Gilded Fortress, but a building with history that's rich and often tragic can't hold its secrets forever, and what Bailey discovers inside turns everything she thought she knew about Theodore Camden and the wom woman who killed him on its head. That sounds really, I like books that have like that tie to the past and coming back, especially if it's like a family connection or something. And so I said, mm, that sounds decent enough. And I wanted to read this other book. It's a new author for me. So I picked that one up. So we will see, right? Thank you for checking them out with me. If you want to leave a comment, if you've read any of these, or if you have one in particular that you want me to read and bump up on my list, I take that into consideration. You can leave that below. I love hearing from each and every one of you what you're reading. Have a blessed reading day, and I will talk to y'all soon. Bye.